You have to wonder about the desperation of the first guy who tried bath salts. I know. Like the, the point you reach. There's better shit. The you antifreeze is gone by that point. Like, once you have antifreeze, then you're just trying things. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? I don't know. Let's just try this shit. Okay. Hey, man, uh, the fucking wall's attacking me. Dish Good soap? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, that is one of the... The hand soap has got alcohol in it, so people drink the damn hand soap. Yeah. But think of the things they would have to go through to get all the way down to bath salts. Because there's got to be a hierarchy. Hand soap... Hand soap, um, WD forty, Mister Clean, Mister Clean, uh, toothpaste. I don't know. You can't get drunk off toothpaste. All right. Well, we. I am ready to begin. So let us do this now. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a little segment we like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" and this is the one everyone fucking sent me. This is the, the, uh, I don't know what, everybody went to see Iron Man 3 this past weekend. Well, mostly everybody. Even I went to see Iron Man 3, and I don't normally go to movies anymore, but I went. I didn't like it. I knew I wasn't going to like it, but I went anyway. That's how dumb I am. I liked it. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a superhero movie, and... Yes. Sometimes people want to promote these in interesting ways. This was a little too interesting. Photos from the Iron Iron Man 3 promotion in which the actors entered a theater with oh, fake fuck. guns. Goodrich Capital 8 Theater in Jefferson City, Missouri, thought it'd be a great idea to, quote, entertain customers who had come to see Iron Man 3, and had hired a touch of cosplay actors to dress up as the titular character and an entourage of gun-toting, body-armor-wearing S.H.I.E.L.D. agents from the movie. Gee, what just happened not that long ago? Ugh. Trying to think... There was a thing... Hey, what did Batman do that did that happened? Oh yeah. Of like, all the I mean the, you could tell this is gonna sound awful, but um with the trailer for Iron Man 3, you could tell that they were trying to cash in on the on Batman on The Dark Knight Rises, with the whole theme of, you know, hero fallen. You don't have to take it that far. Don't take yeah, no, this is too And okay, I'm gonna put this on the base screen because this 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 motley crew. This, these are supposed to be S.H.I.E.L.D. agents? Guys, really? Really? I'm, I'm not intimidated. I'm really not. <laughs> oh, good lord. Wow. I, uh, it, but, uh, Why would you do this? These aren't... I, I can't say anything. This is actually legitimately pissing me off. I know, man, because just... <laughs> I can't be funny about this. There's, there's, there's no way this could have, how did this seem like a good fucking idea? <laughs> there had to be some illicit substance involved to be, to go, oh, you know what? Yeah, you're finished training. You know what would be really great in this locked room? Dark room full of people who only have one small exit. Let's make it 40. In fact, one of the reports said there was a guy in there who had PTSD and they set him off. Oh, God. I know it. it they've and, and now the theater goer is apologize. He apologized to them. <laughs> we shouldn't have to. That's a hard idea. Yeah, here it is from Cat. We apologize. Imagine they did that like during Olympus has fallen. <laughs> and I live in D.C. If like if they did that in a theater in D.C. during Olympus has fallen or one of the other 80, you know, president gets kidnapped movies that's coming out this year. Oh, Jesus Christ. That would or zero dark 30 for fuck's sake. Oh, God. <laughs> Here it is from Capital A Theaters to our customers. We apologize and are sympathetic to those who felt they were in harm's way with our character promotion for Iron Man 3. This was not a publicity stunt. Next story. I, I can't make fun of this to get it away. Well, we're not done with geeks just yet. Uh, do you know what free comic book day is? 
of I've heard of it, never um, taken advantage of it, but I know it. Well, what happens is uh, each year, um, all the comic companies put together a day where they put out special editions of their comics and give them away for free. So you can go in a store and get like a stack of free comics specially made to get you into their characters or special promotions and stuff. And it's a big thing. Um, but this is from the Bangor Daily News. Westbrook man arrested after allegedly assaulting Stormtrooper Ghostbuster during free comic book day. At the same time, Portland, Maine, a Westbrook man was tasered by police on Saturday after allegedly assaulting a man dressed as a stormtrooper and another dressed as a Ghostbuster. Adam Barnes, 31, was arrested after assaulting two people in costume and threatening police. Coast City Comics uh, was hosting an event associated with Free Comic Book Day. About a dozen people were dressed in costumes such as Ghostbusters, Stormtroopers, the Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. Bobby Daggett of Portland dressed as Green Lantern and said he w w witnessed the first assault. There were a bunch of people standing outside trying to drum up business. This one guy was dressed as a Stormtrooper. Out of nowhere, this guy tried to put him in a chokehold from behind and throw him to the ground. He was trying to be intimidating and screamed obscenities at everybody. I... What? He was if taught to prove if he's trying to prove that he's tough. Why is he trying to prove it by assaulting a stormtrooper? I know they're not exactly yeah. the, the, the pinnacles of uh, of the, the, I mean, beating up a ghost, but beating up a stormtrooper just makes you look like a bully. Um, Unless you're an Ewok. Beating up a ghostbuster. Yeah, we will have issues then. Apparently he punched a ghostbuster walked about walked away and he was taunting and challenging police officers and then he got tased okay this is one of those things i will never understand i don't care in any circumstance they're armed they're well armed and they're allowed to do things to you and even if they're not allowed to do things to you they will do things to you and get away with it why are you taunting them it's it's they're not what uh. he just doesn't enjoy freedom. He just wants a jail, clearly. <laughs> Please give me a cell officer. <laughs> Free comic book day. This is this is what? No, go ahead. Well, it's it's like, you know what? I'm thinking this guy is a guy who, who grew up. He was the bully in high school. And now he's all grown up and there's no one around. But suddenly he's going to relive his glory days. Relive it. Yeah, it's exact. It's it's going to he's going to swirly all the all the geeks just to, you know, it, it's that it's that asshole. Yeah, people are just nerds. It's ogre. That's so that, there you go. We've solved it. It's fucking ogre. That's what happened. Uh, the circle of life continues. I, I just and I love the fact that Green Lantern is sitting there giving the telling the officers, yeah, here's what happened, officer. You got to imagine the cops are just like, I mean, it's a sad story just taken on its own. I mean, it's, it's sad story taken on its own. But when you add the idea of cosplay, just the mental image makes it <laughs> so much better. Uh, well, speaking of making things so much better, um, we all. Yeah, segue. We all know these road signs we have on the side of the road where you're coming into con construction and they flash telling you and they're programmable and they tell you what's going on. A while back, some guys got a hold of one and re reprogrammed it to say warning zombies ahead. And I thought that was pretty awesome. It was. But some people in Florida. <laughs> oh, they went a bit further. Sad. This is from Orlando. Questionable traffic advice. Smoke weed every day. I got to put this one up with it. Look, just there it is, kids. Uh, While driving, preferably. <laughs> this is from Orlando. Um, and I love I, David Breen at the Orlando Sentinel. You, sh you should be ashamed of yourself. Harold and Kamar aren't running the public works department in Winter Park, but it sure looked like the Hollywood stoners were on the job Sunday. Shut up. Stop it. Stop your your. No, no what editor told him to stop that. Yeah, portable traffic sign. The kind that usually warns motorists of road work or lane closures. Instead, advised, quote, smoke weed every day. 
The sign uh, near the intersection of Minnesota and Clay Street drew a steady stream of attention from passerbys, several of whom stopped and jumped out of their cars to take photos. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> So now you've got the one asshole who stopped his car dead in traffic has hopped out to take a picture of the traffic sign. And then 10 more people are doing this. No one's ever getting home. <laughs> okay, that, that's really on them. I mean, I, I mean, I can't get too mad at this. This is what we might call shenanigans. But, you know, it's their fault. It's their own mitzvah for stopping. It's... <laughs> You really had to get the picture. <laughs> Go ahead. Then again, smoking weed every day. Um, no, no, no. Airy day. Airy day. Airy oh, day. Okay, airy day. Is it airy. like in the back of the throat? Airy, airy day. Airy day. There you go. Okay, rota to R. Airy day. Okay. Yeah. I've learned things now. I've learned how to... I've learned to die luck now. <laughs> you see that this guy's done a public service. I have learned something. Yeah. Thanks to this. I can't get him out of him. No. But apparently, um, meanwhile, his companion's sign a few blocks away, read Jackson Avenue closed through traffic, attracted no undue attention. Of course not, David Breen. Why did you have to add that? Were you really that desperate to pad out your fucking article? <laughs> I'm sorry, we deal with these news stories all the time. And it just it gets to me because we have to. I want some quality reporting, you know? What else is there to report? Um, how often has this guy taken his own advice? Is he smoking weed every day? Um, what is his history of it? Uh, does, he, does he do it, to, you know, for some psychological reason? I want to know more about this guy. Well, obviously, it's having a good effect yes, on him. You're doing a profile on him. That's how you get more viewers. That's get more clicks that way. Obviously, he's he's. It's got a good effect on him because he, you know. He knows how to hack shit. Yeah, he can't be. Man. He can't be that, you know, impaired. <laughs> you're just still going with the drinking. It's oh, my you, birthday. you're going to need it. We're getting we're getting into the 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 right. it's from North Carolina. Our next one mm -hmm. which is very close to me. Why is it? You know what? Before the 20th century. If you walked around and told people that God told you to do something, you pretty much got a free pass because God. Yes. Then the 20th century happened and we kind of cu said cut the shit. These ladies haven't got the memo. Oh. The Lord told two women to take nude walk with kids in North Carolina. <laughs> Charlotte police in North Carolina said two women taking a nude walk with two young children told officers the Lord told them to take a naked stroll. <laughs> police said traffic delays were caused Saturday when motorists slowed down to look gawk at a woman in her 20s who was walking nude in Charlotte with her 40 something mo mother, her toddler and her newborn. The woman told officers the Lord told them to get naked and walk down the street. How did he tell them that? I'm curious. I know. What's, did, did, what, yeah. In what form did he take? Did the Lord text you? <laughs> Yo, what up? Strip and walk, bitches. You know, did, did, you know. And the Lord did tweet, let thy go naked down the, <laughs> down the walkway with thy children. Yeah, we're, we're we've we've Tara and I have discussed this. We're, we're sure God is just trolling people at this point. <laughs> yes. They troll us for their sport. And, you know, I'm sorry if you're driving on the highway and two naked women are just walking. You're going to look because, hell, that's not something that just happens every day. Why not? It's. Did the Lord plan that, too? Maybe the Lord wanted them to be arrested. Maybe that was his master plan. You know what? Maybe it's like these people put them away somewhere. Mm hmm. This is that you do do some good. Get them away. Mysterious ways. I those poor kids. You got you got to wonder about that toddler just has it, it when he grows up. All of the psychiatrists, all of them, that's 
All of it. Fact, Lars von Trier grew up in a nudist colony. So that's what's going to happen. That's we just saw the birth of the next Lars von Trier. Oh, shit. Hey, job security. <laughs> yes. There you yeah. go. It's the circle of reviewing. <laughs> and we've got more. Um, this is again, Flor- this is Florida. We, we've got two Florida this week. But we have we normally have a lot of Florida. I'm busy. I know. Man on sailboat masturbated in front of passing boats. <laughs> OK, a Barbara hijack. Normally, this would p- piss me off. But the opening of this. Whatever floats your boat, except not this. <laughs> it's not the way to greet fellow boat enthusiasts. She's doing my job for me. I was going to say that's. Did you ghostwrite this? I don't know. An off-duty deputy riding down the river spotted 67-year-old Scott Corey Barron, allegedly standing on the back of his parked sailboat, and masturbating while boats passed him at the Alva boat ramp. After Barron told the police der- off-duty police officer, expletive deleted you, Barron then explained to an on-duty deputy who'd arrived he was not masturbating, just exercising. <laughs> I wasn't aware there was an exercise. What did he have? Like, that's not the shake weight, man. I swear that's not a shake weight. Do you know how many guys our age would be so buff that was actual exercise? Yeah, just, huh. everyone would be walking around looking like Popeye and shit, man. <laughs> yes. uh, One handed clean and jerk. OK, that was yeah. nice, Vondra. That was nice. Hey, and just. The, the, the gall of it, just to be sitting there, boats are coming by, and he's just like, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a new fetish. That's, yeah, crank Enjoy that outboard. <laughs> oh, man, she's a beaut. I've been with her for 20 years now. I polished her hull. <laughs> This so goes back to anything can be made in innuendo. Oh, yeah. Polish that hull. Mm hmm. Well, there's a reason we call our our boats uh, women. Oh, she's a beaut. What is she, a 50 footer? <laughs> Douche. I'm I'm sitting here thinking that at least one of those boats, their response to this was not being upset, was not being, you know, oh, my God, it was you're scaring the fish. At least one, at least one guy. Did you stop that? I'm on a boat jerking off. I'm on a boat. Yes, Twitchy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come it- sit right back. And you'll hear a tale. Tale of faith. <laughs> 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 the mate was a mighty sailor man, especially <laughs> this area right here. <laughs> <laughs> free willy oh no yeah free willy everyone's just coming out with the innuendo uh so uh, next i'm going to clean my poop deck oh 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 get out of the chat now uh, all hands on dick raise the mast mm-hmm. yes yeah you guys Talk about swabbing the dick. Uh-huh. He was really hauling anchor. Got manning the harpoon. We're going to come up with so many new t- new words for jerking off tonight. Blow the man down. <laughs> Shivering his timbers. The Jolly Roger. This is great. <laughs> you can sail the seven seas in the name. <laughs> Cannon fire hoisting the sail. Clearing the bilge pumps. This is great. <laughs> Yeah, well, thank you for doing our job for us. We're just going to, the rest of the stream is going to be this. Just waxing, us reading things in the chat. Waxing the blowhole, hoisting the mizzen mast. Tugboat. <laughs> Scraping the barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> Casting off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, this is a beautiful oh, day. That's my favorite one. Masturbating. <laughs> this is my favorite day. 
All right. We're getting to the last one. Okay. And this what? one, Ready? this one made me so happy. It combined two things in the, the headline says it all. The two words, bulldozer rampage. Bulldozer rampage allegedly due to fence. Said fences make good neighbors. This time, however, might be the exception. Barry Swaggle is accused of demolishing three homes with a bulldozer and damaging a fourth in Port Angeles, Washington, all because of a chain link barricade. He allegedly tore that down, too. Jeff Swangle told uh, King uh, Five News, if you're looking for a reason as to what set him off, that's what set him off. Um, Barry Swangle been feuding with his neighbors about the fence, which he said blocked him from moving his logging equipment in and out. Finally, Barry Swangle allegedly took matters into his own hands with the help of a bulldozer. He is also accused of destroying a boat, a pickup truck, and a power pole. Holy shit! Nobody was hurt, which is beautiful. Holy shit! <laughs> Four houses, a boat, a power pole. Oh, we, I think we're going to kill I'm Kyle. Dead. Don't die. I'm not. I will. If I do die, I will not let it be because of this story. <laughs> you're sounding all robot, Kyle. Ugh. There you go. You're back now. What? Four houses, a boat, a pickup truck, a power pole and a fence. Wow. Were you trying to unlock an achievement? What the fuck? I can't help but doing this. I know it's a meme, but wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> we, how, you went from. Did lawyers not occur to you? You know, a lawyer, sue them, get the fence taken down. That's how it worked. There were words that could have been said instead of this. There were words that could have been said, and he didn't. Instead, he... How did he get a bulldozer? Apparently, he's a logger. Okay, um... I mean, was it just the fence? I mean, did he... How did he... <laughs> Kyle is baffled. I'm so happy! I know I shouldn't be. No one was hurt, which is the good thing. But this is the, these are those moments in life where a story like this comes along, and I'm just like, there's not video, and that makes me sad. Although there is, we can see... I can show you shots of, of what happened. There's not video of the actual, you know... A ticking time no, bomb. No, shut up. You're too loud. There are no shots of the actual what ha of during, but there are shots of the aftermath. Oh, and look at all these people here taking pictures, pointing. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. Apparently, this is so scary that I've turned into a robot, according to the chat. Good God almighty, how? That's that's something that amazes me. How was there no one around? It's the 21st century. We have cameras in, in our fucking shoes. How was no one there to see this? I'm sad. I, there should have, I'm sad. Where's, where, where's the, where's, where's your, your vigilance, people? Wow, that entire house is gone. Holy shit, one of those houses is completely gone. Why do you make me sad? Day of all days, why do you make me sad? You agreed to come here, you knew what you're getting into. You Bitch, you knew I was a snake when you picked me up! <laughs> You lied. This, you said they would be naked. Yes, there was naked, but I thought it would be naked all the time. But, you know, this is just... 
those poor people. <laughs> Hold on, Kyle. I'm gonna try and get a better connection real quick. Uh, to disconnect and reconnect. Fine. I'll fix it in post. Never mind. Let's see. This should bring it back. There we go. You sound okay. Am I less dolicky? You're less dolicky now. Yes. I'm less dolicky. That is good. I really hated this story. Why did you hate it? I was just. I was just. S scale like <laughs> proportionate there, response there, proportional response well uh, you know it this was probably just that last straw that last one this was the quadriplegic dromedary right here quadriplegic dromedary yeah you broke the camel's back I'm stealing that Yay! That's mine. Yay! I found a new metaphor. When, when he uses it, it's mine. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you credit. You know, royalties. I'm just astonished. I'm uh, Number one, I'm astonished nobody got video of this. Number two, I'm astonished he was allowed to go long enough to get through four houses. Four houses! <laughs> was no, everybody sitting there going, huh. What's happening? That sure is a thing going on over there. Hey, Edna, come look. There's a bulldozer. If you saw, you saw a bulldozer uh, taking down a house, you would probably assume that there was a reason for it. I mean, it don't just happen. You know, you assume that, like, it's been ordinated usually, but I don't know. But oh. during the rampage, that people realized that this was not supposed to happen. Like, on what house? People in the channel are mentioning Arthur Dent is fictional. I wonder if there was someone laying in the mud. That would have made this perfect. We've got to build bypasses. Correct the seven of things, Tom. <sighs> no one is going to stop the crazy guy with a bulldozer. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> The only thing you can stop a crazy guy with a bulldozer is another crazy guy with a bulldozer. And that, my friend, is a reality show. Bulldozer Wars. I pay good money. All right. Well, it's time to figure out what we learned this week. I know Kyle's kind of glitchy a bit, but we'll, we'll, we'll suffer through it. What did we learn this week? Well, we learned... Sometimes... A good idea is not such a good idea. Especially when it involves guns in a movie theater and reliving national tragedies. How did you not know you fuck? Um, we've learned that the bullies, they don't end at high school. Sometimes they go pro. Also, we, we've oh, go ahead. We learned that you know some that high school life is high school. We've realized adulthood is just high school upgraded with the weed. Because yeah. yeah, you know, smoke weed every day. That I think yeah. we have our title right there. But um, I, <laughs> at least you you know weed doesn't impair you that much because you can still hack shit. We've learned that God is a dick. God is a dick. He's it's well documented. Stop. There's a whole book on it, actually. It's popular. Stop trolling, God. Dude, seriously, we will ban you. Oh, no, d d d uh, we'll find out who's the we'll find the channel. We'll find the forum mod. We'll get your ass banned. Don't think we won't, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to talk to Film Brain when this is over. You watch. <clears throat> We've learned that there really is a fetish for everything. Everything. And finally, we, we learned that... We learned that it's very easy to make me sad. I'm sorry, Kyle. <laughs> But hey, we learned, that it, we learned that it's sad that this story didn't involve a forklift. However, 
we have learned many, 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 many new words for masturbation. Many. Many. We forgot like five many's. <laughs> this is a He's paddling his own kayak. They're still going. Ugh. <laughs> he was jollying his Roger. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Uh, chum in the water. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. That was sad. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. It'll be okay. Oh. It was my birthday, and it was going so well. Well. <laughs> happy birthday, man. I, I'm, well... Actually, it's it's over by 15 minutes, but still happy birthday and congratulations on the graduation. It's it's very cool. And now now, yeah, it's like you said on your on your on your Twitter. That I didn't go to school for all this time just to be called Mr. I'm now Mr. Calvin. Yeah, Mr. You have to put the, the emphasis on the Mr. Sure. Yeah, you have to say it the right way. Yes. 